radioactive waste was buried outside of Buffalo, New York in the 1960s. Number 10. They solidified the waste and removed it back in the 70s. Problem solved. Actually, the solidification process leaves behind high-level radioactive sludge, and the solidified waste is still there. Problem. Number nine. The waste is buried underground. Not to worry. Except it's moving underground. <laughs> worry. Number eight. Oh, so the waste is migrating off-site. So what? So it's in the groundwater and has poisoned the water table. Number seven. Well, hardly anybody lives out there. Yeah, except the groundwater feeds the Cataraugus Creek, which feeds Lake Erie. And a lot of people live there. And eat the fish. <laughs> and drink the water. Number six. So what's wrong with a little radiation? Two words, radioactive mutations. Who wouldn't want to be Spider-Man or Dino Squad or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Shall I go on? Please don't. For every 100 people who get sick or die from the radioactivity, exactly none mutated into TV superheroes. Number five. Hey, they need time to work out the details. Like it's taken 30 years to write out an environmental impact statement when I'm late with assignments at school, I get in trouble. Number four! Radioactive materials have what is called a half-life. That means after a little while, the radiation goes away. Just tell people not to drink the water until the radiation dissipates. That means goes away. Good idea! Of course, some people might get kind of thirsty since the half-life of these materials is several hundred thousand years. Number three! It will cost too much money to dig it up. The longer we wait, the more it will cost and the harder it will be. Number two! The Department of Energy wants to take a cautious approach and think about things for 30 years before deciding. By that time, they probably have to write a new environmental impact statement. And that would take another 30 years. Yeah, so that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, in an alternate universe. Number one! Oh, yeah? Well... Well, that's a good point. <laughs> you can't argue with that. Protect the Great Lakes! Send your comments by September 8th!